Hey guys, um, so I already watched two minutes of this video, um, but I realized how funny it was, so I decided to react. And now, when I use the word funny, I don't mean funny like, oh, ha, 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 very funny, ha, 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 ha. Like, no, I mean funny is, like, just pathetic. Just completely pathetic. Like, I, 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 I can't even explain <laughs> how much of a fucking little dipshit this dude is. Like, I, I just, like... I just ran into this video. I just happened to run into it. So, I like I said, I already watched two minutes of it. And, um, and when I realized how much of a fucking idiot this guy is, I had to make a reaction video on it. So, let's start from the beginning. Okay, this is absolutely insane, and it should have us all very alarmed about this new movie that is coming out from Pixar called Turning Red. Now, this is a film that is about a kid that turns into a giant panda, and... It is a film that, after you see what this film critic has to say about the film... Oh yeah, I forgot to mention this about the new Pixar movie, Turning Red. <laughs> I hope that it raises a lot of red flags for you, and I hope that it makes you think twice about going to see it in the theater or at home or whatever else. By the way, there's some very interesting co uh, conflicts that are happening, apparently, about that as well that we'll also get to. But, okay. first we have to talk about this major, major issue with this film, and something that... This this critic had to say about the film. It's more this this video is more about what the critic had to say than the movie itself. But it should also make us think twice about seeing this film. So let's go ahead and get into this and see what this is all about. This is absolutely insane. So this is something that a film critic that who decided to see the film had to say about it. So her name is Courtney Howard, and she had this to say about Turning Red. Turning Red, Pixar Turning Red is hilarious, heartfelt. And unapologetically horny. Keep in mind, this is supposed to be a film for kids. I think you completely don't have context. <laughs> I'm sorry, but that's just too much. I think you completely took that out of context. I'm gonna just continue. Just keep that in mind. A sentimental story about parental problems puberty and pandas that's endearingly oddball and off kilter in the best way good world building and teen bops sandra O oh and newcomer rosalie chang are splendid um ex uh what uh what just just I, i'm i'm just blown away by this and i really shouldn't be surprised because we know that this is what Hollywood is doing, as well as like the the education system and all these other institutions. They are trying to indoctrinate kids. They're trying to push these really uh, messed up messages on. <laughs> oh my god, dude! When she said extremely horny, I think you may have misinterpreted that just a little bit. And what do you say? All these fucked up stuff? I'm not accusing you of anything. I don't know anything about you as a YouTuber. And I might have to watch more of your videos, but even though I don't know if I want to. Um. Why do I have a huge feeling that one of the stuff that you're referring to is, is LGBT shit in media? Like I said, I might have to watch more of your fucking videos to understand what the hell you're even saying. But what are you even trying to say here? It's like, okay, this is a Pixar movie about a teenage girl turning into a fucking red panda. It's a children's movie. You see, it's like, oh my fucking God. The movie hasn't even come out yet. It's coming out soon, but it has not come out yet. And I'm still watching it anyway, mostly because it's a Pixar movie. I love Pixar. But... Okay, let's just continue this fucking buffoon of a human being. Kids, and that that is one of my biggest concerns about this film as well. I can see through, and I can see what they're trying to do with this movie. And I, I haven't even seen the movie, but just from the trailers themselves, I've been like, okay, I kind of have an idea of what they're going to be doing with this movie as far as trying to push some very concerning... To say the least, messages on, on children. So, sorry. this is insane. <laughs> Cons what's concerning? What is concerning about the fact that it's a metaphor for puberty? Is that what's concerning? What's so concerning? 
learning about teaching kids about puberty, <laughs> but making it a little bit more interesting. I was like, <laughs> okay, let me just continue. Okay. After you read that, I hope that that should be a huge red flag to us all about going to see this movie. We should at least be a little bit careful about, you know, investigating this movie and taking our kids to it and everything. How the hell is it still two minutes in? Else, and, you know, this, this, I, I just, this is insane. But the hilarious thing about this is... Uh, it's not for moving so much. I'm, I'm watching this on my phone and I'm in my closet, so <laughs> no one can, um, so uh, no one... So you won't be able to hear my brothers talking as much. So, it's kind of sad that I'm in the closet, but... It's just a little quiet when you hear that's why I decided to film this video. That she, um, basically, uh, protected, made her account, account on Twitter, uh, protected, so that now you can't see her tweets or anything else, and she is getting absolutely destroyed. Not as much as I was hoping that she would be for this tweet, but she is still getting destroyed nonetheless, so... Why would you use the word uh, horny to, de to describe... Okay, so, one thing. One thing I definitely agree with is that the word horny is kind of a weird word choice for a children's movie. I'm not exactly sure why she used the word horny. Like I said, I haven't seen the movie yet. It has not come out yet. Um, so, like, I haven't even watched Encanto yet. <laughs> but... I know the movie's not out yet. So, once it comes out, I'm wheeling, you know... And there might be some stuff in there. I don't know. I don't fucking know. But I admit it was kind of a weird word choice. So he kind of has a good point on there. On that. That's it. Everything else he says is fucking stupid. Let's just continue. This movie. Uh, I'm sorry. Unapologetically what? So people are, are not happy about this, which is good. Which is good. But we need more people to be uh, very upset about this because it should be something that's very upsetting and concerning to us. We know what they're trying to do with children. We've seen, seen it before with things like cuties and everything else. Okay, cuties, I don't even know was targeted towards children to begin with. And seconds, like, okay, let me, first, before I get to the second point, let me go back to the whole cuties thing. Just because, even though cuties... People had every right to be disturbed about that movie. It was a really fucking weird concept. And especially since this was real girls. You know, not like an animated movie. This were real girls. Real children. So, yeah. That's concerning. But I don't think that was a kid's movie. I mean, I might have to check, but I don't think that was a kid's movie. Just because the main characters happen to be children... Does not mean the movie is targeted towards kids, my guy. <laughs> like I said, I'm not defending cuties. I don't know much about the movie, and I've heard it's a pretty gross movie. And I'm sure it is. I haven't seen it, but I'm sure it is. But I don't know if I know, because I've never watched the movie, and I don't know if I ever will. But, like I said, at the same time, though, um, like... I'm pretty sure that wasn't targeted towards children to begin with. So why are you even using that as an example? Sorry for, sorry for keep pausing it. And it is something that we should be aware of. So, I haven't seen this movie yet. I don't know about this movie. But there's also something else that's really interesting that's going on. So, rumor, Pixar at war with Disney and Bob Ch Chapek over decision to release Turning Red direct to Disney+. Plus. So, apparently, there's a lot of conflict over that as well. And uh, it's just it's just a complete mess. And I, I don't know about you guys, but man, Pixar has really fallen off the wagon, it seems like, recently. Like, I look back on their old films, and I'm like, man, these films are just so good. Like, these films are just fantastic, and they have so much depth to them and so much heart. And it feels like Pixar actually cared and wanted to be a little bit different than, than the rest of Hollywood. But now it seems, like Holly, uh, it seems like Pixar is really just kind of churning out a lot of the same type of crap that the rest of Hollywood is. Okay, but, okay, wait, let me unpause this and see if he's going to give any actual valid points of what he's saying. And it, uh, uh, it, it's so depressing to watch. Not saying that all of Pixar's films coming out these days are terrible or anything, but the majority of them just, they lack what the, the early Pixar films had, which was uh, depth and, uh, you know, they were, they were movies that, that the whole family could watch and appreciate and get something from it, you know? Not so much these days. So before we end this video, I just want to close on this and say that maybe instead of instead of watching this Turning Red movie, 
I, I suggest going to Twitter and following this account, Daily Red Pandas. Uh, it turns out that red pandas are actually, like, some of my favorite animals in the world. Like, I absolutely love red pandas. Okay. A anyway. But what movies are you referring to? You don't mention any specific movies. What are you referring to? As like, yes. Like, if he thinks the Pixar movies aren't as good, you know, as, as sorry, I'm keep fucking with my hair. I'm not trying to look good. I've just, I'm always, kind of an OCD thing. Um, so, what, um, I find kind of odd is that you didn't actually bring up why this is a, um, why this is a, uh, sorry, why Pixar movies are somehow giving, you know, giving away bad messages. Like, yeah, sure. Like, if you think Pixar movies are not as good as they used to be, I can, like, that's your opinion, and that's perfectly fine if you think that. And you don't think Pixar movies are as good as they used to be. Actually, I think I literally just said that. Um, but like you said, that is perfectly fine if you think that. Uh, yeah, if you think that. If you think that. It makes you believe and think that. Well, my what I'm just trying to say is that if you think that those movies are not as good, that is perfectly fine. But to me, it just seems like you're not even bringing up the movies that you're referring to. And what messages are you referring to? Could you at least bring them up to make a point more valid? Like, movies. Like, Onward, Soul, because you know, like I'm bringing up the newer movies, Inside Out is quite a few years old, but he might be referring to movies from around that time, too. Um, and, like, well, just newer Pixar, or, like, Toy Story 4. And I don't know if he's referring to the fact that some newer Pixar movies have had some LGBT references to them. And is that what he's bringing up? Like I said, I do not know anything about this dude. I might watch more of his videos, and I don't want to spread misinformation. But I kind of wonder if that's one of the things that he's mentioning. <laughs> but... I don't know. Let me just continue. <laughs> and the video is about, the video is still like two minutes in. Okay. <sighs> and um, so basically, this is just a Twitter account that just posts pictures of red pandas all day. It is fantastic. I love it. Like, oh, like how, how can you not love that? Right? Come on. It's so it's so so great. So this is a great account. I highly recommend following it. I think that you guys will find a lot of joy from it, and probably a lot more joy. And uh, it honestly will probably be a lot more beneficial to your to your heart and soul than uh, than than what this Turning Red movie is. Um, this okay. is okay. I'm sorry. I'm probably making this video a lot longer than it should be, but are you basically trying to encourage people not to watch the movie? Like, that's honestly what it seems to me. I mean, maybe I'm being as fucking stupid as him. I mean, look, that Twitter is fucking adorable. I probably am going to... Actually, I might already be following that Twitter. It's adorable. <laughs> it's really cute. But why are you encouraging these people... I'm not saying they have to watch the movie, but what if they were already interested in watching it? And he's not saying, hey... Don't watch this movie, but he does seem like he is still encouraging people not to watch it. Just look at this, which is adorable. It's a cute Twitter, but still, like, if people want to see this movie, <laughs> me, then why encourage them not to see it? Right. I don't even know if this is necessarily the same account that I follow. I, I don't know. Is it? Because I'm not following this one, but there must be another one out there. Um, okay. I think there's one that posts- Is this all he talks about for the rest of the video? Let me see. Let me see, let me see, let me see. Wait, no, it seems like he goes back to, uh... No. Dude, is that all you talk about for the rest of the video? Hourly is the one that I follow. Bunch of these, there's at Daily Red Pandas. There's another one that's out there that's like an hourly Red Pandas one as well, which is great. So... Uh... Is much better than this movie already. I can already tell you that. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments. Okay, so it looks like I may have fucked up the uh, face cam thing. Um, but okay, I'm, I'm just gonna stop this video. I'm sorry that I moved this video a lot longer than it should have been because I kept pausing it. But I hope you guys enjoyed this. Ch this video just fucking triggers me, and I don't get triggered that easily. But I'm I'm going I'm going like so. What I'm gonna say at the end of the video. If you are planning on watching this movie, don't let people...
people like this to tell you not to watch it just because the person used the word horny. Ah, this dude completely took it out of fucking context. But I, I, I'm just gonna, I'm just going to stop this video. But I really hope you guys enjoyed. Bye.